Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the uh, preparatory ground instruction for lesson or exercise 20, illusions caused by drift. You should have reviewed this in your flight training manual. Just going to talk about uh, some different things that result uh, or that uh, can occur with uh, low flying. You end up with some illusions uh, when you have a strong wind. So first off, if you're flying with a tailwind, um, the tailwind will give an illusion that the speed is higher than uh, than it is, and a headwind means you're going. Or it looks like you're going slower than what you actually are. If you're in a turn, uh, you'll notice that uh, depending whether you're going into the wind or away, it looks like you're either slipping or skidding. So it's important that even though what you see on the ground, uh, your aircraft performance is relative to what's happening in the air. So it's important that you don't sl uh, uh, slip or skid in this turn. So that brings me to some of the dangers of low flying. And that's kind of what this exercise is all about, is just kind of warning you about something. So it's not illegal to fly low. Uh, flying low is actually kind of fun sometimes, but you just have to be aware of it. Uh, so what is not allowed is like buzz jobs. Uh, you're not allowed flying over your buddy at 50 feet or your buddy's farm and hey look at me well that's going to get you a pretty big fine um, but you know sometimes you know there's nothing wrong with flying at 200 feet when there's nobody but moose to look at you you could look outside uh, kind of see the scenery from down low there's nothing wrong with it but just be really aware of these illusions that are caused by drift uh, and also be aware of obstacles. So down low, I mean, there are power lines, uh, like this guy unfortunately found out. I don't even know how they would rescue him. I, I would have no idea how they would do that. Um, and uh, power lines, there's antennas, there's all sorts of things you can hit. So that's just something that you really need to be aware of uh, if you are flying low. So that uh, concludes this lesson. Uh, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in our next lesson.